You need you why, bitches? It's been five years since this man has dropped. That's insane. All I'm gonna say is, you know, this man only drops when Kendrick drops. The cat's out the bag. Joey, what's up? Are you trying to be like Kendrick? I don't know what's going on here. And we back with another one. And today we have Joey Badass with 2000. Yes, finally, a new album after so many pushbacks, after so many delays is finally here. This is not just a new album. This is a sequel to his, his most beloved mixtape 1999 that dropped 10 years ago. So with all that being said, the anticipation, you know what I'm saying, the hype, is there. For me personally, I don't necessarily have 1999 at that high of a praise, but I definitely do enjoy that project. So with that being said, Joey, you can't, you, you can't fool. You, you literally can't. You know, we here with 2000. A lot has changed since, you know, the original 1999 project. And uh, I'm just interested to see how this is all going to go. I enjoyed the first two singles. I didn't listen to the second two. I did a reaction to Head High and Where I Belong. So you can check those out. I'll probably place them throughout the video randomly or just at the very end. Enough talking. I've been talking for way too long as it is. <laughs> so yeah, let's get it. 14 tracks. Uh, first track we got is The Baddest featuring Diddy. So yeah, let, let's get it. Now as we proceed to give you what you need, bad boy. So he the baddest motherfucker in town. I could take five years off cause my shit is timeless. My core got my back, so I'm standing on my promise. These niggas only okay. care by their labels, they yo spineless. Go mm. penetrating souls. Who the best in sees? Kenny, Joey, and Cole, the Holy Trinity. Is that uh, not vibes in the Hey man, we see you, Joey. He ain't that slick. <laughs> show sympathy for niggas who be moving finicky. Okay. Okay. These other niggas ain't no part who wants bar. Got wars, boss, who ain't ours and false boss. Now I know my way like a good boss. I like this low key intro. This is dope, for sure. That was a nice opener. For sure. I like how low-key it was. It kind of felt like an open mic, you know what I mean? With the very low-key pianos and whatnot. Joey was reflective on that. That definitely felt like, you know, the beginning of what this whole album's about. Good tone setter, you know what I mean? Anyways, next track we got is um, Make Me Feel. So let's get it. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, this shit pretty. What? Okay. <laughs> okay. You, you calling yourself Mike Tyson? Okay, I feel you. Huh. Well, you want to make it out? Okay, I see it. Mm. Dropping gems, I see you. Mm. Oh, this is tough. What? He just he just flexing on everybody in this track. That was that was nice. I enjoyed that. That man Joey was just rapping his ass off, floating on that pretty ass beat from Static. Like I said, like I said in the Where I Belong reaction, their their chemistry is just so good, and that man Joey just knows how to attack a Static selected beat just right. You know what I mean? Make me feel was definitely the one where Joey was just getting his bars off, and he did. Where I Belong. Like I said earlier, very reflective track of his come up and whatnot. Definitely the the drums on that track were heavy and and Joey yeah all together was just doing his thing on that so yeah definitely enjoying you know how this is going so far all right next track we got is brand new 911 featuring West Side Gun okay got some Griselda up in here let's get it oh God oh this is this be wavy as fuck what huh why why are you thinking about it too much don't overthink it just do it uh, yes. Oh, this is so dope. What? <laughs> this is tiny as fuck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is dope as hell.
That last track was nice. Dope West Side Gun feature. Joey just continues to float on these beats. I felt with the low-key vibe of this album, too. So let's continue. Let's keep it pushing. Next track we got is Cruise Control. Let's get it. Living in a world so cold. Keep a nigga on ten toes. Where I'm at and only low no control. Dirty man by age, dirty motivated to reach my goal. Trust me, I ain't okay. worried about weak my right. straight. Every day I meditate, cause I'm the one they love to hate. Focus on the bigger picture, trying to find a better way. Okay, now 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 the beast turned to come in. Now it's grown on me a little okay. I'm not fucking with the hook though. Focused on the better things, trying to stack cheddar cream, rule everything. Uh, foot up on the pedaling, never settling. Uh, <laughs> okay, I I like the change of pace. So I don't, I'm not really too crazy about it so far. Yeah, I just I just found found that track to be a, just a little bland. Hook was kind of like it kind of reminded me of like some Drake shit. You know what I mean? And that, that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, I get the vibe. I get the you know the point of the track. Um, but I'm kind of chilling on that one. I can't even hold you. Uh, next track we got is Eulogy. So let's get it. I love that mic. I must want to only niggas who really do this shit, yeah. man. Blue pills caught up in the matrix. Got to spread love, though, because it's a lot of hatred. No, it's a marathon and no fall. Bitch, I put myself on. Niggas behind bars, venting me on my cell phone. Hit it when they got to leave the message at the down zone. Never did college and I still raise dollars. For tuition, you could buy the album for like $8. All right, I fuck with this. This is nice. Ain't man mainstream like a hungry hip hop hotness. Yeah, you ain't a white guy. You just hungry. Oh Jesus. Hey, I rock with this. Not bad at all. This is dope. All right, next track we got is Zip Codes. Let's get it. Oh. What the fuck? I feel like I'm on a, I'm on a sailboat. In the middle of the ocean. What? Oh, this is dope. What? He back flexing. This is this is nice. Some pros at procrastination. I said mm. those who act slow black lagoon snatch Julie ass. Most niggas really pwn when you wait to Julie ass. Could have made the goonies clap for mid range like they James Worthy. You let a nigga try to hurt me. Okay, okay. Yeah, Lee, this track is insane. What? I know you hate it, nigga. Man, we halfway through and I'm messing with, you know, the smooth ass production and Joey just, you know. He's just doing his thing on here. He's just floating on these beats. The big difference between this and the original, you know, 1999 mixtape is 1999 era Joey, he was way more hungrier and way more, you know, aggressive. But this right here, this seems like, you know, the full evolution where he was to where he is now, where this is much more reflective. You know, he's got so much, so much more confidence and swagger on the microphone, you know what I mean? What he might have lost with, like, hunger and aggression, he also gained more lyrical focus, I feel like. That's the biggest jump that, I, you know, I've, I've seen just, you know, remembering how 1999 was and just listening to this project. I'm, I'm racking with this. This is dope so far, man. Um, let's keep it going. Next track we got is uh, One of Us featuring Larry June. So, uh, yeah, let's let's keep it going. Bro, these, the production, way more soulful. Jeez, and fly. Oh my God. Huh. Wait, what? Huh? I like the very, you know, warm feeling of the production on this track. This, this, this is tight. Okay. All right. I feel you. Not me. I'm different. Okay. Eh. Eh. The first one's were cool, I guess. Yeah, that is probably the weakest track since Cruise Control. Um, besides the beat, I think the beat is the best part of that track. 
to be honest. Like, the, the beat was just so warm, and it gave me, like, um, that feeling of, like, life's a bitch, you know what I mean? Like, that, like that, that same, you know, energy, but I just feel like the performances were just kind of so low-key to the point where it was low-key boring. Yeah, let's keep it going. Next track we got is Welcome Back featuring Chris Brown and uh, Capella Gray. We got C Breezy on here with Joey Badass. I didn't I didn't think this would ever happen, but we here now. What? <laughs> what? Oh Jesus, why? This is gross. <laughs> this is disgusting. This is nasty. Nah, you lost me. E nah. <laughs> Suck you off like an oxtail. That's wild. She made a pussy wet all night and she gripped it tight. She sucked it in the right. I eat it like I got a big appetite. Very detailed by my, my, my good brother Joseph. Um, man, I understand, you know, getting in, in your intimate bag. I feel that. Um, but, uh, yeah, as a song as a whole, I'm chilling on that one, personally. Vocally, whoever was on the hook sounded awful. Uh, yeah, that's probably my least favorite track. I'm definitely not returning to that. That was not. Um, anyways, next track we got is, uh, Show Me. Let's get it. Show me how you can. Okay. Can't spell us without trust. Put the lust aside of some things we gotta discuss. So close uh. your legs for a bit, baby. Let's open up. Take your time. We can talk until the sun up. I see you trying to say what's on your mind. What is the, the mastering mind. on his voice? Say, you ain't gotta lie now. What's the bet we made? See, I, I, I fuck with this intimate track way more than the last one. Like, no goofy eye chorus. Like, come on now. Like, this was. This is straight. I mean, keep it G like real niggas do. Cause you know a nigga way before he got famous on the black name that's in Hey man, not bad, not bad at all. That, that man Static just created a, just a vibe that, you know, Joey matched and meshed in perfectly with. Ne next track we got is Wanna Be Loved, featuring, uh, Jid. just for something more exciting, just to never find it. Oh, like these drums are nice, what? I didn't live way too much hostility. Fuckin' niggas feelin' me and not DJs, just my shoes. Got shit to prove to you, this ain't nothing new. What more do they huh. want from me? Demons, they been haunting me. Finna die by the wood and fuck my halo. Surrounded by my uh. angels, they cover every angle. Back up the world, keep spinning, and my girl keep bringing it. I don't know how I feel about this hook. My nigga just left the pen and he been trying to get back on his feet. His father died, he was inside. Said the cancer beat him, and so he been heavy drinking. Show him love for heaven's sake, but I don't know what the hell he thinking. A psych identity. Niggas be flying. Oh, this man taking over. What on earth? That man just started to take over at the end right there. Yeah, I rock with When the album dropped for you? When? Where, where's the forever story? This is a cool track. Not bad. Not bad at all. One thing I will say, though, is I think the verses are really good on there from Joey and, and Jid, but the hook is just kind of made the track, you know, as a whole fall a little flat. I feel like that track could have been greater than it actually was if... The hook was just done a little bit better. Yeah. But all around, not a bad track at all. We're going to skip Head High. Already did a reaction to that. Joey being reflective, talking about his past relationship with X. It was a beautiful verse, you know what I mean? I enjoyed it. That was dope. So anyways, now we're on to the next track, uh, Survivor's Guilt. So let's get it. And like, I'm not supposed to be talking about this. And that's Is that Steve? Oh, wow. Oh, this track's gonna be pain. I already feel it. Now my nigga gone, he will never be forgotten. Oh, wow. Since he left, I just been struggling without him. 
club. Now I'm rich and rotten every day. I think about him and survive is cute. Wishing I couldn't wow. stop them, let alone just Crazy. know how he feel. Parade all the real from fake people, all the real from fake fans who claiming that they stand, but they ain't on my man's. Until the very end, wish it feels weird. How people could accuse me for his death. Sometimes I gotta shed a real tear. You see the truth about Steve. Wow, that's like crazy. People do that? That's nuts. He wanted to take it as fast and deep as he could go. Paul's but the stone show this man and, I, and he had no one around him, so partially I feel it's my fault. Damn. And that right there is my internal wall. Damn. And here's a message to this fam. I know y'all got emotional trauma that I understand. And uh P my cousin Junior B. Y'all ain't no oh, wow. too much about him, so it's up to me. With my eyes at the fact that we alive and we feeling these vibes because we be feeling these voids. Part of me got destroyed. Great, great tribute, you know, to Steez and Junior B. Yeah, that, that track was beautiful. Great tribute to the both of them. I don't think Joey has touched on it that much, so I bet it was very, very uh, tough for him to make that track. Definitely a heart-wrenching and a heavy track for sure. Crazy, crazy track. Anyways, let's get into the final track written in Written in the stars. Let's get it. Everything and more you can ask in a single verse. Oh, you this, remember, no I'm already fucking with this. I mean, these Cartier bus. How the fuck could I complain? My nigga, just look at us. I gotta pay up. Send my stock like a teenage cock. Stays up. Knowing that my time is boss. So nah, that ain't the one champ. Get shady. We gonna see who get the laugh. Last they try and play me. My life's oh, that wow. movie. I'm feeling like Scorsese. Paparazzi trying to spot me sloppy on the cameras. But I see the bigger huh. picture. I set the parameters. Right. And then no we're fast. The winner running man. Jogging in place with <laughs> my feet up on the brakes. Trying to that was that was dope. Hey, I need I need Joey at more live production. This was this track was great. Great closer to this album, man. All right, there you have it, Joey Badass with 2000. Uh, listen, man. I really, really wanted to love this project. Even though the highs are super dope, I just can't overlook the inconsistencies on this project. What I like about this project, man, is I like how reflective and reminiscent Joey is on this project. It's kind of like this album has like come full circle and it's like the beginning of a new phase of his career. 1999 was Joey being very hungry, aggressive, and trying to prove something, trying to get over that fence and trying to make it. While this Joey right here 10 years later, he's made it, you know, he's won an Oscar, he's done X, Y, and Z, you know what I mean? What, what he lost with, you know, hunger and aggression, like I said in the middle of the reaction, he gained with more lyrical focus and confidence. Um, and you can definitely hear that, you can definitely hear that he's very, very confident in what the future holds. He's in touch with his soul at the end of the day. He's paying tribute to, you know, the brothers that he's lost on the way, like, Survivor's Guilt and Head High are so you know, heartfelt. But with that being said, even though his he's more focused lyrically, I will say sometimes it just comes off very, very hollow and like straightforward to the point where it's just kind of like, okay, this is cool. You're like, yeah, you're doing your thing, Joey, but there's no like extra hit, you know what I mean? This album starts off very, very strong, ends very, very strong, but the middle part of this album is just kind of like, yeah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> First four tracks on here, but hard as hell. Um, but then you get Cruise Control, which sounds like a Drake track that is is so much similar to a Drake track where it's like derivative. Then obviously Eulogy is a solid track. Zip Codes is one of my favorite tracks on the album. Uh, but then after that, you get One of Us and Welcome Back. And nah, nah, man. One of Us makes me want to take a nap, even though I do like that beat. Welcome Back is absolutely awful, and, my, and it might be one of, if not his worst track to date. After that, we get, you know, Show Me and Just Want to Be Loved with Jin, and it's kind of like, those tracks are cool. I don't think I would be really returning to like that, but then this album ends very strong with Head High, you know, Survivor's Guilt, and Written in the Stars. You do get some of Joey's most introspective, you know, topics on here. But it, it is so shaky in the middle to the point where it's like you can't overlook that. Like, 
all by aside, even though I enjoy a lot of tracks on here, I can't deny how low the lows actually are on this project. So with that being said, I don't think this is a bad project. I still think this is a pretty decent project because the production on here is very, very solid. And for the highs, I feel like Joey's flows and some of his wordplay is still very, very dope. But I feel like at the end of the day, it's just like, man, this could have been way stronger than it actually was so anyways uh joey badass with 2000 this is how i'm feeling on it yeah those are my thoughts hope you enjoyed like subscribe for more bell icon for notifications all that jazz and uh yeah we'll see you on the next one